Welcome, welcome to the Pair Affair today. In today's topic, we'll be talking about thinking outside the box in a creative way of thinking. In a story we're going to refer to, I've heard the story before, and it was kind of interesting just to bring it back up. And we always start our podcast off with um, little stories, little insights, and then we kind of attach it to our, you know, attach it to what we have to do, attach it to our thoughts, our lives. And as we read this story and as we go over the story, I just want you to reflect on maybe some people you've come across who are like this, or maybe you're like this. Maybe you're just, you're like that. I don't know. I don't judge people, but it is what it is. So um, as we read the story and as we go over the story, let's have fun with it. And um should be good. I like this a lot and a lot of conversations on this one. In a small Italian town, hundreds of years ago, a small business owner owed a large sum of money to a loan shark. The loan shark was a very old, unattractive looking guy that just so happened to fancy the business owner's daughter. He decided to offer the businessman a deal that would completely wipe out the debt he owed him. However, the catch was that he would only wipe out the debt if he could marry the businessman's daughter. Needless to say, the proposal was met with a look of disgust. The loan shark said that he would place two pebbles in a bag, one white pebble and one black pebble. The daughter would then have to reach into the bag and pick out a pebble. If it was black, the whole debt would be wiped out, but the loan shark would, um, the loan shark would do, then marry her. If it was white, the debt would also be wiped out, but the daughter would ha- wouldn't have to marry the loan shark. So if it was black, he had to marry her. She had to marry him if it was white. No. Standing on the pebble path in the businessman's garden, the loan shark bent over and picked up two pebbles. While he was picking up the, the pebbles, the daughter noticed he picked up two black pebbles and placed them both into the bag. And then he asked, then he asked the daughter to reach into the bag and pick one. The daughter thought naturally he, she had three choices as what she had could do. Refuse to pick the pebble from the bag. That was the first option. Take both pebbles out of the bag and expose the lone shark for cheating. Pick a pebble from the bag fully well knowing it was black and sacrifice herself for her father's freedom. So these were her three choices. She drew out a pebble from the bag and before looking at it, she accidentally dropped it in the midst of other pebbles. She said to the loan shark, Oh, how clumsy of me. Never mind. If you look into the bag for the one that is left, you'll be able to tell which pebble I picked. The pebble left in the bag was obviously black. And seeing as the loan shark didn't want to be exposed, he had to play along if the pebble the daughter had dropped was white and clear the father's debt. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. I I like that a lot. As I, as I... I read that story, my wife and I read that story together. A lot of times you have to think outside the box. You have to be more creative. You have to, you're pinned into a situation. And she had those three choices, those logical three choices. And that's what most people would have did was refuse, um, take the pebble, both pebbles out the bag, um, take the pebbles out the bag. And the third one, take the pebble from the bag fully well knowing that it was black and sacrificing herself for her father. But she thought of another way. And she didn't, she didn't really expose that one until it was time. And that's one good thing about people who are always thinking. Um, they're always thinking of a way to get out of a situation. And, they're, and it's not a facetious way of getting out of it. It's just a, a there's more, more options out there. There's a lot more options out there than just doing the standard things that you think you should do. As you're out there and you, you come across problems, and we all have problems that we come across, we have to look at all the avenues. You have to look at the different multiple perspectives of every situation. And sometimes maybe the first one is the best one. Maybe it's the third one. Maybe something that's going to be some, that had to be really creative. And one thing I can say about the last choice that she made was it was unexpected. 
it was something that the loan shark probably never expected that she would do. And she probably, you know, loan shark thinking, well, I, I put two black pebbles in there. I'm smarter than they are. I'm going to get my way no matter what. He didn't expect her to come up with something like that to get her way and to get things settled where, you know, no one's hurt. As we begin and as we look back at a lot of things in life, sometimes I realize I didn't really think out of the box. I just, I just, okay, well, this is what it is. This is what I'm going to do. And I'm thinking of back, I'm thinking back to um, just recently we purchased a new car. We purchased a new car. And I was thinking to myself, well, how am I going to pay for this car? And I told myself real simple, real easy. I'm just going to make monthly payments and, you know, you know, that's, that's the option. Yeah, I might pay you know, a little bit extra each month, but that's what I'm going to do. And then I started thinking to myself and they had at, at our, we financed it through our, our local credit union. They have this coin machine there. They have this coin machine there. And a couple of the little outside things I do, I have a lot of, you know, I have coins. I have a lot of coins. And I said, how can I use coins? How can I use these coins to pay for this car? And I said, okay, I'm just going to just take my coins once a week or every, every two weeks, take the coins, put them in the machine, put it on the account. Some weeks, some weeks, to be honest with you, it's $80. The other week, it was $200-something. This is one week. And I said, that's the one way you could do it. And so as we think of creative ways of getting out of situations, we can't just think that it's only a few options that you have. You have, to wonder, you have to understand that you have more options than necessary. You have to understand that you have to be creative in every decision that you make. Every decision that you make. I notice also as I, as I venture more into um, learning how to do things, I'm being more creative and that maybe it's because I'm getting older. Uh, maybe when I was younger, I thought there was only a few ways of getting things done. But as you get, and I love people who are creative, who come up with new concepts, comes up with new ideas and how to get things done. Not trying to be sneaky about it, but just clever. One of the shows that I, I and not just the shows I like to watch one of the shows that I like to watch is it's this show about um, these guys in Alaska and they're digging for gold, you know, and they just dig for gold and they go in the summer months, spring, whatever, when it unthaws. And then it's not even about them digging gold. The reason why I like watching the show is because the machines always break down. The machines always break down. For some reason or another, a rock, um, the machine moved. Uh, whatever, something, something always gets caught in the machine, something, a belt ripped. And they're out in the middle of, of like they call it the Yukon. They're out in the middle of the Yukon. And so they don't have a local place that they will pick up a part. They don't have a place to go pick up a part. They have to be creative out there. And so as I watched the show and they said, well, we have this part on my truck, but it's not really the part that will fit there. So I'm going to have to modify it so that it does fit in this, in this particular plant or they call them the, the wash plant to get the machine running because the machines, they have them going 24 hour days. They have them going 18 hour days. They have, they, they're trying to keep the machines moving as much as they can before it gets cold again. So the mechanics there on the show, I'm just amazed how creative they are in solving a lot of the problems. People who can problem solve or like she had three or four different options in the story, but she had a fourth way. People who can problem solve, come up with different ways of making things better. You're always going to have, you're always going to have work and you're gonna always going to be needed by your company or, or whoever. People are always going to come to you because they know that you're going to come up with a creative idea to solve the problem. As I refer back to the story, as I refer back to the story, I realize, and as I look back at how people will try to 
think that they can pin you into a corner. They can pin you into a corner and thinking that you're not too creative of getting out of this situation. And you have to be very careful when you're, when you're dealing with these people, because like she said, it was, he's a loan shark. This is not his first time he tricked people into doing things, but you have to realize that sometimes you have to be really, really thoughtful in how to get things and people who are trying to trick you, they don't like being outsmarted. And I, I like that very much and how people are just using their brains not trying to use their brawn, not trying to use the physical power, but using their brains to outsmart people. And one of the things that you'll see, and as this, you know, as spring comes and summer comes, you'll go to your local park and you'll see people sitting at the park and they'll be playing chess. They'll be playing chess. And they're just, and as, I, as I watch them, it's all about, okay, how can I outsmart this person sitting across from me? What move can I make next so that I can set up the third move down the road? What are you setting up today? What are you going to do today to set up your next move three, four, maybe five years from now? Are you making decisions today that are going to trap you into a situation where you can't get out? Or are you making moves so that you can make some good moves down the road? And that's what it's all about is making good decisions, not just reacting, but making good decisions. Don't make decisions that are going to affect you for the rest of your life. And if you do have to make some decisions that are going to affect you for the rest of your life, think of some creative ways to get out of that situation. Think of some creative ways because there's always options. There's so many options out there, but we don't realize that. We don't think that there's other options. Well, you have to believe in yourself and you have to understand that it is okay to make mistakes. But then again, as you make these mistakes, think about how are you going to solve these mistakes? We're all going to fall down. We're all going to have to get back up. And then as we dust ourselves off, we're going to have to make sure that we have a better way. As soon as we get up, as you're on the ground and as you're sitting there kicking, screaming and acting a fool about the situation. You can have when you get up and spend all the energy there. When you get up, have a plan what you're going to do to attack the problem. What are you going to do to attack the problem? Well, once again, um, as we finish this story up about being a creative thinker out there, um, we want to thank you for all the comments, suggestions that are coming our way. We want to also thank you for supporting the pair fair with your um, with your time and every day that we produce things and put content out there. And once again. Um, I want you to have a great day and stay positive, be creative, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again. Bye-bye.